Uh oh. Gage says it's empty. Guess it's time for a beer, guys. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. This is Easy Rider Saloon. This is in Sturgis, South Dakota, guys. Uh, they look like they're having fun over there now, don't they? You reckon they're drinking any beer? I bet they are. But they ain't drinking a good beer, though, like I'm going to be drinking. Let's go take a look in the fridge and see what we're going to drink today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews. Look at here. Clown shoes, guys, clown shoes. This is Super Hero India Pale Ale. Uh, on the side here it says, Short pours, drinking gouze through straw, dusty bottles growing old in liquor stores. Wow! Meet Boston's own Super Hero, Catamim, the protector of the uh, Bia. This India Pale Ale will be made with the freshest, dankest, most wicked, awesome hops available at brew time. Alcohol is 8% by volume. This is by Mercury Brewing, which is the, the Clown Shoes beers, and they're out of Ipswich, Massachusetts, guys. Clown Shoes! Clown Shoes! I hope this is better than the one we did yesterday. That one, mm, it, was, it, was it was a good beer, but... I'm usually expecting a beer from these guys, and, and it was at the bottom range because I had kept it too long. And this is a double, and this was actually bottled in February, and this is an 8% beer. So it, it it should keep a little while, but I always preach this. I mean, it's a hoppy beer. It's an IPA, even though it's a double IPA. It is hop forward, and those hops diminish over time. The alcohol is not going to make the beer bad or let it go bad, but it's not going to taste quite the same two months old as it is a year old, or even six months, or two years old. The beer is still going to be good, but it's not going to taste the same as it did when it was put in the bottle. Those hops will fade. Now, you get into a lot of discussion or controversy or well, if you got a big beer, hop forward, the alcohol taste may need to settle down for a while. Some people like those beers to, to, to mature, just depending on what your tastes are and what you like and, and how, how the beer is brewed and produced. Whether it's alcohol forward or it's well hidden and you want it to let it set or you want to drink it immediately. So, it's a lot of personal taste in there. Beer reviews and beer tastes are objective, subjective, and... What I love, you may hate, and vice versa. So that's the way it goes in beer reviews. But anybody that has drank a few beers, and I have been known to drink a beer or two in my day, and uh, I try not to steer anybody in the wrong direction. So uh, what I used to preach, when I first got into it and started doing beer reviews, I'll give you a quick little 20-second thing here. I, I got into the Dogfish Head beers, and I was thinking, well, the 60-minute IPA is this lovely because my palate was young and I loved the IPAs and it just appealed to me real well. And the 90 minute was kind of on the harsher side and a little too heavy for my palate at the time. Well, I went and bought a four pack of that last week. And believe it or not, they are pretty damn tasty right now. And the, the 60s that I bought the week before were kind of lackluster. So my palate has developed more where now the 90 is, is more appreciated than the 60. And I thought the 90 was way heavy a year ago. So. That's how your palate develops. The more you drink of the stronger and the more bitter beers or the stouts and the chocolates, and uh, your palate will develop. And that's how that goes. Uh, you, will, you, will, you will appreciate those flavors and those tastes more the more that you drink those kind of beers. So uh, that's, how, that's how it is, guys. Without me rounding on, let's get on with this. Clown Shoes, Ipswich, Massachusetts, year-round serving. Food prank with this is your standard IPAs. Uh, the cuisine is the barbecue cheeses, the peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. The meat for this is game, grilled meat, salmon, uh, anything off the grill. Your more stronger dishes, burgers, chops, steaks, yeah, 
I mean, even even fish. A fish is considered a lighter dish, but this will go well with any with any strong dish. The IPAs are a little more easier, but the double IPAs, uh, the stronger the dish, the better for this. This is going to have a, just a little bit more alcohol than the regular IPAs being a double. The the beer can be cellared, but I keep preaching this. Uh, you will lose the, the hot freshness over time, guys. So let's. See how this one is. See if it's a little bit better, worse, same from the one we did yesterday. Super Hero. Look at there. That looks marvelous. This is the bomber, 22 ounce, guys. Look at the head there. Nice aggressive pour, about a finger and a half of head there. Wow. That is super clear over into the light. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass there, guys. Looks very delicious. Uh, a darker amber, not quite to the red scale, but not a golden color either. Very amber, very good looking double IPA. Uh, it appears to be a filtered beer. I don't see a whole lot of sediment or any kind of cloudiness in there. Looks pretty good. Let's get a nose on it. Man, that smells delicious to me. I'm getting grapefruit, oranges, a, a, a pininess to it too. The hops are definitely there, even though it's, it was done in February. They're coming through. Nice malt, caramelly malt smell. Wow, that smells awesome. 8%. 8% beer. Smells very sweet too. Smells very good. Cheers, everybody. Over 5,000 subscribers. I'm humbled. Thanks to everybody that watch, comment, and enjoy what I do because I enjoy doing this for y'all. Cheers, everybody. The alcohol is there. It's not burning or anything, but you can tell that it's a double. But it's not bad. It's not really bad at all. They do tell you that it's a double, so you're going to expect just to have a little bit more of the alcohol presence than you do with a regular IP that's going to be five, five and a half percent. Grapefruit, orangey. I'm getting. It's a bitterness to it there, too. I don't know what hops they use in this. I, I did not say. Year-round serving on this beer, so they do it all year-round, according to what I've got here on my information. I think that's very pleasant. I think that is very, very pleasant. It does have a very nice bitterness, but it's matched with a rich caramelly malt taste with this guys. Well, let's run out of the fridge. We're going to let the other half taste this and see what she thinks of it. I'm sure she's going to like it. She's, uh, her palate's developed about the same as mine has over the time. So, and not very much stuff that I like that she doesn't like and vice versa. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to let it warm up and be right back and do the final chug on this one, guys. Stick around. Be right back. All right, Jeff. We're sticking around. Got just a little left. Boy, this is a pretty tasty beer. I'm getting grapefruit and oranges and I'm getting a piney, a piney, I'm getting a piney hot press, but now it's warmed up, I'm getting the alcohol too. The alcohol is definitely there. And a nice roasty caramel backbone to match it up. So, eh, maybe just a little bit more than a pile of Let me sip on it one more time. This is very pleasant. 8%, a little stronger than your regular IPA, double IPA. On the bottom end of the double IPA, so because some of the doubles almost into the triples with a 9 and 10% beers. This is very pleasant, very nice. Date on the bottle, tells you when you should have it. If you'd like to let them metal, just a metal, metal just a little bit. 
you know how long you want to keep it. Uh, a lot of a lot of times uh, you want to buy two of these. And you want to try one a month or so, and then put one back for maybe six months, eight months, even a year. Especially if it's a real alcohol forward like some of these can be. So. Oh well. Pleasant, pleasant, pleasant aroma on this one. Oh, I love it. Cheers, guys. Very nice. Very nice beer to wind up the evening. Final beer of the evening. Very nice. Guys, I enjoyed this tremendously. Clown shoes, guys. Clown shoes. Uh, date on the bottom. I'm going to give it a 9. It's pretty damn tasty. I enjoyed this a lot. This is nothing that's going to blow your hair back or knock your socks off, but it is pretty tasty. Uh, I would like to have tasted this maybe a, three months ago to see what it would have tasted like. See if it more boozier than it is now, or or more hot forward than it is now. So it's pretty tasty right now. It's right in the mellow range to me. Rate Beer has this at 94 overall and 88 in the style, and Beer Abbott comes up with an 84, which is in their good range. I think it's a little bit better than good. I loved it. I mean, I did. I, I mean, I thought it was a very good to wind up the evening, and that's what I've done with this one. This is the final beer of the evening, and uh, I enjoyed this, guys. If you had this one from Clown Shoes, give me some comments back on this one. Uh, let me know you liked it, loved it, best thing you ever had, good stand it, whatever you liked. Uh, let me know. Give me some comments. Hit the like button if you like it. Don't think we got a Clown Shoes ready for tomorrow, but I hope it's just as good as this one. Come on back tomorrow. We'll look it together. See y'all then.